How is it possible that the Herman Miller Aeron remains as one of the most popular chairs almost 30 years after its inception? Technology has come a long way in the office furniture world, but the Aeron continues to be one of the most coveted and purchased chairs in the world. To understand how the Aeron has held the crown of king of office chairs, we have to go all the way back to the beginning, the early 1990s. I was still in elementary school playing my Sega Genesis, but Herman Miller was busy designing the most iconic piece of office furniture in history. Up until the Aeron, chairs were very basic. Things like four-star wheelbases, fixed metal arms, and no lumbar support were common. But these chairs were not enough for the changing demands of an office environment that was going from manual entry systems to computer-based systems. Computers becoming so popular created a massive demand for workers that were performing repetitive tasks, which created a larger awareness and focus on office ergonomics. This created an amazing opportunity for Herman Miller. Not only could they create the most advanced eye-catching office chair for that time, but they could also help with the need for a more ergonomic working environment. It was a win-win, and Herman Miller hit a home run when they finally unveiled the Aeron chair. The Aeron truly was ahead of its time. It's hard to put into context, but you have to understand that the Aeron is still one of the most functional chairs available even 30 years after it was released. At the time, nobody had seen anything like it. Never had there been an office chair that looked as unique as the Aeron while also being more functional than anything available. This is why it was added to the Museum of Modern Design. There just had never been anything like it. The use of pellicle mesh is something that came from a failed medical chair design called the Sera. The mesh on the Aeron is probably one of the things that has set it apart more so than any other feature. The elastic, breathable material created a sitting experience that had never been experienced before. It also gave the chair a very unique modern look. Combine the mesh material with things like pneumatic seat height, adjustable arms, tilt limiter, and lumbar adjustment, and there wasn't really anything that could compete with the Aeron at the time. The build and function on the Aeron are what gave it a chance at becoming so popular, but its release came at the most perfect time possible, the dot-com bubble. The dot-com bubble not only created a massive demand for more workers that would be sitting in a computer chair all day long, but the ability to buy an office full of high-end chairs now became a flex. Back in the early 90s, Herman Miller was selling the Aeron for about a thousand bucks. That's over two thousand dollars in today's money, so it was actually more expensive back then than it is today. It was one of the most expensive chairs available, and people started to understand that. Having a client or prospective employee walk through your office with 500 Aeron chairs was something that was used to show how well the company was doing. It was often a conversation starter for someone that had never seen a chair, and it showed just how much buying power a company had. With so many companies going to the moon during this time, there were literally thousands of floors of buildings throughout the U.S. filled with Aeron chairs. As with all great things, they must come to an end, which is why we call it the dot-com bubble. You would think this would be horrible for Herman Miller and the Aeron, but not really. The Aeron had years to build its reputation. When the bubble burst and these companies started going out of business, they needed to liquidate. The Aeron started being sold used in local markets for a fraction of the cost that it was brand new. This created a trickle-down effect. The Aeron was no longer just something you would see in offices that had access to buying contract office furniture. Now almost anyone could find an Aeron chair if they looked hard enough. Another factor that has helped to propel the Aeron to the top of the office chair world is pop culture. Because of how advanced and impressive the Aeron looked compared to every other office chair when it came out, it became popular on TV shows and movie sets, not only for its intended purpose, but also as a prop for the show or the movie. You'd be surprised how often the Aeron is shown on TV or in movies. You may not have noticed one, but once you start looking for them, you'll see them everywhere. Seeing the same chair over and over, even though you don't know what the chair is, is powerful. This is a tactic used by some of the biggest advertisers in the world to always keep their product in the back of your mind. It not only makes the chair more recognizable for people, but the fact that people see it in high-end environments, like their favorite movie, makes it even more prestigious.
Another very common place to see the air on is recording studios. There are a ton of YouTube videos showing interviews or recording sessions in studios, and they very often have air on chairs. Again, it's very powerful to see your favorite rapper, singer, songwriter sitting in an air on while working at their craft. Herman Miller got lucky with some amazing timing on the Aeron, but they also designed a chair that would last for decades, which is why the chair has remained so popular even through things like the dot-com bubble and recessions. The Aeron was, and still is, in my opinion, a good investment. The size options and adjustments allowed an employer to order the same chair for an office full of people instead of having to get a bunch of custom-made options to fit every individual person. The Aeron did and still does have a really good build with an amazing warranty. People knew that they were buying something that would last 10 to 20 years, which gave them confidence in buying the higher ticket item. The Aeron can also be resold pretty easily when you're done with it and need to get rid of it. Because of its high-end design, good functions, and strong build, it really retains its value. This is kind of the buy-it-for-life mentality that was much more prevalent before cheap, plastic, imported products became so popular. But this has remained one of the biggest reasons to purchase an Aeron even today. You just know that you're guaranteed to be using a really high-end chair for a long, long time. No product is immune to time, and that became the case even with the Aeron chair. Herman Miller felt that the design needed a little revamp for the changing office environment. In the mid-2010s, the Aeron got a buff, and the new version was dubbed the Aeron Remastered, with the old version being called the Classic. From a look standpoint, there wasn't a huge change. The shape and look of the chair is consistent with some of the levers and cables being cleaned up and made to look a little sleeker. The pellicle mesh also got an update, but overall the new version looks pretty much the same as the old. While the look isn't much different, I do like the functional changes. I like the more adjustable arms and squishier arm pads. I also like the new lumbar system and new seat design. The front of the seat is just much more comfortable for me than the classic model. Overall, I think the remastered version was very well done. I think they kept the same iconic look while making the chair more functional and more comfortable. This revamp has certainly helped to keep the Aeron in the conversation as one of the best ergonomic office chairs, and they've gone one step further with their gaming edition to help cater to the massive gaming community that doesn't want to sit in a race car seat. The Aeron gaming chair doesn't have any added functionality, but it does have a unique all-black look that should go good with almost any gaming setup. The Aeron won't live forever, but its three-decade run so far has been incredibly impressive. If you're curious whether the Aeron is worth it for you, check out this next video.